Welcome back to the show. My name is Evan, along with Michael J. Babcock. What's up? WNBA superstar Renee Montgomery. Hello there. All right, this is an issue that affects pro professional basketball. I'm sure you guys have seen the video. Draymond Green went scorched earth on the Cleveland Cavaliers and the NBA uh, for the way that the Cavs are treating their star center, Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond is a two-time NBA All-Star. He's a dominant player. He's a really good player. Um, he's in Cleveland, and Cleveland has uh, benched him, essentially said they will not activate him while they try to seek a trade before the deadline on March 25th. So he's not going to suit up again for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They've told him this, and they apparently expect him to keep a positive, professional attitude while they try to deal him out of Cleveland. Draymond Green feels the way that Cleveland has treated Andre Drummond is downright disrespectful. And after the Warriors beat Cleveland on Monday night, he let everybody know it. Take a look. To watch Andre Drummond before the game uh, sit on the sideline, then go to the back, and then come out in street clothes because a team is going to trade him. Because when James Harden asked for a trade and essentially dogged it, but he was castrated for wanting to go to a different team, and everybody destroyed that man. And yet a team can come out and say, oh, we want to trade a guy. And then that guy is to go sit. And if he doesn't stay professional, then he's a cancer. And he's not good in someone's locker room. And he's the issue. It goes along the same lines of when, when everyone wants to say, oh, man, that young guy can't figure it out. But no one wants to say the organization can't figure it out. At some point, the players must be respected in these situations. And it's ridiculous, and I'm sick of seeing it. Y'all have a great night. Okay, so I want to hear Renee's opinion because you're a professional basketball player. And then Babcock, yeah. you, you know and have known Andre Drummond for years. So I'm very mm -hmm. curious uh, your takes on this. I do want to yeah. point out before we get Renee's opinion first here that uh, Andre Drummond, despite being disrespected and all this stuff, is still making – $28.7 million this season as part of a five-year, $127 million contract. And the only reason I say that is because some people feel that that's relevant in this situation. Mm -hmm. Renee, what's your take? Yeah, some people feel that's relevant in the in their situation, but also those same people, if they were going to work every day and their job was toxic to them and their job was not good for their mental health, some people would also say that the money doesn't matter in that moment. And, and what Draymond is saying is true. And I say it all the time. I said it on set here about James Harden when we talked about it. I think that there's a really big double standard in sports. And I love that this is all getting opened up because yes, Draymond, it's true. Anytime a team trades a player, a la the Celtics and Isaiah Thomas, who played with them while his sister had just passed away, finished the playoffs, played his heart out, played amongst injury that they knew about the injury, but then later after the season traded him because he was injured and because they could get Kyrie Irving, no one had a problem with that. Everyone was like, yes, we're getting Kyrie, yes. But I was like, yo, that's so messed up. So I think that there's a complete double standard and it's wrong that a player is healthy, ready to play. And you're just going to sit him to the side and be like, we're trading you, but act professional and be positive. That's the real kicker there. It's one thing to say we're trading you, but then to say, be professional. You don't want to be a bad locker room guy or be, a, uh, you know, detrimental to the team. And it's like, wow, you guys are being detrimental to the team. So I get it's part of the business, but I'm glad that people are starting to speak on it. Yeah, I, I can't do any better than Renee just did there. From a personal level, I feel really bad for Andre Drummond. I know he loves playing basketball. He's only 27 years old. He's still in his prime. And the fact that they're forcing him to sit, I just genuinely feel really bad for him. And I, I really hope that through this, he can get on a better team, get with a, a better organization than the Cavs are right now. And he can win and he can play playoff basketball. And ultimately it'll work out better for him, but to force him to sit on the bench right now and, the, and to force him to put a smile on his face is, is disrespectful and it's hypocritical. So, so let me ask you guys a question real quick. Where do you want to see your friend Andre Drummond end up? Oh man. I don't know. Where where should he go, Renee? The Celtics. Uh, they need a big man. The Celtics need a big man. I don't know if they, they want that type of big man. They need help. Honestly, he gets 20 and 20. I mean, like, he is productive still, but I just think this is really crazy to me.